it's stout. Um, what's also nice about the motor is it it's it revs like in the car you're going to be shifting this thing 73 7400 6900 it's still like 700 horsepower at 6900 rpm and uh, that's an impressive thing uh you know because having a little high winder you know it's basically a big block in an all aluminum small block package although it's an ls engine uh, and it's got more horsepower and uh, torque than what a big block would have at a much lighter weight. A thousand thirteen foot pounds. 1140 horse and climbing fast at only 16 pounds of boost. A lot, lot more left in this one. So what we're looking at here is our 454 twin turbo LS twin 88 millimeter water to air intercooled 16 injector octane on demand Monsta. This is a King of the Hammer Ultra 4 car. It's got all sorts of trick stuff in it. Oh, twin throttle body! Electronic throttle body! Okay, what you're looking at here is our new twin turbo intercooled XRAM LS intake. So, we've got some really special things we've got going on here. This is a 427 cubic inch motor. We're running dual drive-by wire throttle bodies. So it's uh, electronically controlled throttles. Twin 90 millimeter throttles. We've got our really special XRAM uh, runner. All, you know, bitchin' taper angle, the whole nine. And then we've went ahead and we've built water to air intercooler in between. So you've got your plenum volume and then your intercooler and then it shoots into the runner here. So that's a 14.7 pounds of boost on that pull. We added a little bit of timing and a little bit of gas, and you can see the torque number is now at 1,000 horse and 1,038 foot-pounds at 6,000. With 972 at 4,300, you still got 771 at 3,800. So pretty nice, pretty stout, still pretty climbing. speed torque is just it's crazy so if you're in like a truck or something heavy or something that you need balls right now 
this is it. It's a really bitching deal um, for that. So uh, I'm, I'm pretty stoked on it. We'll call this the Thousand Thousand. This is a 427 LS uh, with a 4 liter Whipple intercooled injected. Electromotive controls. Got a set of our stainless headers. Um, and it's it's an alternative uh, to our turbo packages or our Vortex. What we're looking at here is a 427 twin turbo hot rod series that we've configured for a mid-engine car. We've uh, flipped the intake 180 and did a water to air intercooler. We've got some of our really nice stainless NRE headers going into tile 60 which we double slipped into a three and a half inch exhaust pipe. We've got some of course of our patented NRE mirror image turbo and this is of course the counter rotator my favorite one all right today we're doing two things we got we're showing off two new things that we've done is we've created a, a 8.1 liter uh, crate motor package and it's got our NRE dual throttle body XRAM intake on it. So this is 496 cubic inches. It's 9.8 to 1 compression. we got a really small hydraulic roller in it um, and it's a streeter. It's a nasty streeter which I love. But the, the nice thing about it is it's something that you get a small block footprint with better than big block torque. And what we're going to show you today is this at 496 cubic inches makes more torque than a 572 big block like what you would buy a GM Crate 572. Uh, it's making 696 peak foot pounds and it's making 600 foot pounds at 2800 RPM. So the like average torque band of this motor is so insane and the throttle response is just insane that you basically have almost 700 foot-pounds, 690 horsepower, hydraulic cam, no adjust, piss pump gas. It's a bad dude. All right, so here is the test with the X-RAM. And you can see, this is, at 2800, just the massive torque difference. You know, 608 foot-pounds already at 2900. 692 peak foot-pounds on this pole, which we've been as high as 695. 689 horsepower, and still hanging on pretty tough at 6000. So, but what, what really needs to be shown here is the average data of 657 and 551. 